Hello there ladies and gents, and welcome back to my scum single player. Now first of all I have to apologise for not having a video in quite a while, but I have just been mega mega busy at work and I haven't had a chance to sit down and actually record. Uh, which is a little bit annoying, but hopefully that busy streak is over and it will be back to normal again. And I actually have some free time and not have to spend all my time at work. Which would be rather nice. There's a puppet over there. But anyway. So, after the last uh, bunker that we did in uh, A0, I think it was. I can't even remember, it was such a long time ago. Obviously, I headed home. I dropped everything off because I was super heavy. And um, it, it took a long time to get home. Uh, and I also got swamped by quite a few puppets. But that was just, you know, me trying to get home and get my stuff back uh, into the boxes, which is now there. I mean, it's still in the same location, just above the airfield. Uh, but now, today's mission, if possible, is to... A, talk about all the new things that have been released. The, uh, all the new screenshots that I will show you. But I'm sure you've already seen it all before, because, like I said, this is quite late already. Uh, and B is to find a vehicle, because I am fed up of running around on my feet. My feet hurt. I'm limited with my storage, so we need a vehicle of some kind. And what I thought I would do is come down to where we found the last vehicle, which was in E3 town. So it's not too much of a distance to walk. There's also a petrol station on the way if I need it, and there's also the um, barracks, which we may visit afterwards. Who knows? We'll see. But not in this episode. Anyway, this episode is hopefully vehicle in these garages, because we need one. So, let us go. But yes, talking of vehicles, Mr. Thomas Laff has been at it again and has released the footage, not the footage, that's the wrong word, released the screenshots of the cruisers which can now oh look that's a good sign there is that i like a door and a battery uh 18 uses a little bit uh the cruiser bikes which i am i'm i can't wait for the cruisers i i loved the cruisers aka the harleys whatever you want to call them i thought they were awesome and i'm so looking forward to them coming back um, oh, hello. Hello, love. Oh, she juked me. Goodbye. Uh, I'm well looking forward to those coming back. Just with a bit more storage. I hope uh, in the... In the... Uh, screenshots. In the screenshots, you can see that <clears throat> one of them has got the... Uh, I'll take a pass. One of them has got the um, the sort of normal panniers on them, the plastic panniers. Although I think, to be honest, I think it would be better if they were leather panniers rather than plastic ones. But there we go. And the other one, there is some water containers. So I'm not quite sure if that sort of water bowser is going to be for water and liquids. You know, maybe you could put fuel in it. So you could traverse further without having to stop for fuel. That would be a good idea. Or you could... Or it's just going to be used as, as a standard storage thing. But, you know, it's going to have a... The look of a... Oh, some cash. The look of a... A water bowser. Not a water bowser, a water barrel. Um, so, yeah. I think, personally, I think, I think the liquid things, you should be able to put fuel in it. I think that would be a good idea, you know, being able, like I said, being able to traverse the map further without having to stop for fuel all the time. That would be a good, nice little touch, I think. A nice little touch. The second item, is there a car in there? Ooh, hello. What we got here? Okay. Um... Ah, uh, it's got no engine. Right. Here's a bedroll. 
That is a bedroll and a lighter. I wonder why... I wonder why it's got 100% health when it has no... No engine in it. That's interesting. Strange, but interesting. Um, yeah, the other vehicle is the ATV, which... Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh, right in the neck. Which, to be honest, I was never a fan of the ATV. I thought it was too small... Um, person... Well, I missed you. I thought it was too small personally, and I always preferred, you know, the pickup truck or the, um, well, I'll take a bit further, those, why not? Or the SUV, as it was. Uh, still no news on the SUV. News on the pickup, which I'll get to in a minute, but no news on the SUV belt. Ooh, lots of bolts. Hello. Hello. Um... And also no news on the tractor, which is a bit disappointing, because I actually think a lot of people are waiting for the tractor to come back. It seems to be a very popular, very popular vehicle. Oh, 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 that's handy, barbed wire. Give me that. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Can I get you from here? Face. Oh, oh, I'm a bit too high, actually. Shit. Oh my god, I missed again. Leave me alone. Um, but yeah, on to, back onto the ATV. Uh, as you can see, obviously, there's different storage configurations and things like that. Again, like I said, I personally wasn't the biggest fan of the ATV. I'm sure there are other people who loved the ATV, but it wasn't for me. And... To be honest, I don't actually call it an ATV. For me, it's a quad bike. Always has been, always will be. A quad bike. Ooh, construct. Um, always has been, always will be. A quad bike. But yeah, I know other people call it ATVs, so. Keeping everybody happy. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see the kind of things you can do with it. And, you know, if I'm honest, Yes, the vehicles are modular. But I was kind of hoping, in some kind of a way, that's chicken, that we could add our own stuff to it. I mean, I know we've got the, um, yoga leggings. I know that we've got the, um, the armor and stuff that you could buy, but it would be really cool if you had, I don't know, Need to replace those? Yes, I do. If you had uh, a bunch of scrap metal and some rubber and you could craft something yourself, you know, rather than having to go to the mechanic or something like that. There's no vehicle in this one. Um, that would have been cool and that's kind of, I think, I don't know, I might cause. I think that's what everyone, there is a mini fridge. Look, a fridge. A baby fridge. I th think that's what everyone was kind of hoping for when they said modular, is the fact that we could actually make our own unique kind of things rather than have to go to the trader and, you know, put on a... Oh, look at that. Now that's beautiful. Uh, rather than have to just sort of choose from a basic stuff. I know, and I'm not a game designer, so, you know, I don't know how difficult it would be to do something like that. <laughs> if it's too hard, if, it, if it's impossible, then I understand. Um, but, yeah, that would kind of be cool. I'm trying to think of a game that used to have that kind of a system, but I've gone out the top of my head now. I know there was one that used to have something like that, but I cannot, for the life of me, remember it. See, now this is the garage where we found the other Leica previously. Uh, cut those into wires, because that's always handy. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of, you know, rather than finding the boot and the door and you know, that kind of stuff, 
just make stuff yourself kind of thing. You know? Maybe they could introduce some corrugated iron sheets, you know, and use that and a hammer to, um, to craft, I don't know, just a, a basic bonnet. Um, what's the word I want? Armor. There we go. That's the word I want. That's the word I want. Rather than buying it from the trader, but that's just my opinion. That's that's my opinion. And then the next one is the pickup truck. Now, as you can see, again, it's a very sort of limited screenshot. But what would be cool is if you could put those... Um, Uh, if you could, when you have a pickup truck, you've got the, the sort of hard top, I don't remember the name of it now, the hard top, um, hot top box that goes over the actual bed of the truck. Or you can have it as a pickup truck with it open, or you can have the, the, the roller shutters, working pot, I should take that, but it is rather large, yes, I have to put my helmet back on. I took this stuff off because I was getting hot. Getting hot and sweaty. Let's have a nibble on some of these seeds. Uh, eat all of them and eat this parsnip as well. Free up a little bit of room. There we go. That and that in there. That up there. Just making some room for myself. Oh, damn it. Um. Uh, yeah, what was that? The the, um, the top box, and then the different configurations. But also, I don't know if you... Hello. I don't know if you've ever seen them. But not so much in Europe. Certainly in America and Canada. You can get those absolutely humongous top boxes. Uh, I forgot to go and get my arrows back. I'm going to miss all of these, aren't I? Yes, I am. Okay, I need to give up on that. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my arrows. Um, you can get those humongous... Basically... Uh, it's basically a camper van on top of the... On top of the flatbed. That hit him. And that killed him. You know, and think of all the storage space you could have. You could literally live in it if you could put one of those things on. Like I said, they're not very popular in Europe because we have uh, much smaller roads, much narrower roads. And uh, basically, if you saw one of those driving down the street, you'd just, you'd be screwed because in Europe, you wouldn't be able to pass on the left or the right. You would just be stuck, basically. Now, where was I where I shot all my other arrows? Because I would like to get those back, if I could. So, uh, these metal arrows are very good. I think I was further over there, wasn't I? I don't think I did this one, did I? No. Yeah, I was further over there. Um... But yeah, you know, <clears throat> and literally you could have your base on wheels. You know, you wouldn't necessarily need to build a base. You could just keep everything in there. And then, of course, just hope that someone doesn't have a rocket launcher and blow you up, basically. Because, uh, you know, that is also a problem. <laughs> now, these arrows. There we go. Look at that. Right in the tree. Bum, bum, bum was some more here, but I don't know if I'm going to get them. Oh, there's one. There we go. Okay. Good. Um, so, yeah. I'm interested to see. I hope it's. I hope the, the, the pickup truck and the ATV and the bike and stuff are going to have a bit more of a... customizable features than what we currently have with the Leica and the Volkswagen. Or Volkswagen, whatever you want to call it. It would just be nice to see, I think. 
And like I said, I think a lot of people were actually expecting that in the first place. But, as I said, I'm not a game designer. I don't know how difficult that would be to implement into the game, if at all possible, with, you know, current versions and updates and things like that. One very interesting tweet I saw uh, was somebody asked if they're ever going to push it to Unreal Engine 5. And apparently, to my surprise, because the last time I saw anything mentioning Unreal 5, <clears throat> the answer was a flat out no. But apparently they are now actually looking into putting this in UE5. I mean, could you imagine? I mean, alright. UE5, you currently need a supercomputer if you want it to look how they showcase it on all the YouTube videos and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you need <laughs> you need some decent decent hardware to be able to get that going. But could you imagine what this is gonna look like? Gas canister. I was looking for one of you for years in the last season, you little mm. But could you imagine what it would look like in IE IE, not IE, no not Internet Explorer 5. Unreal Engine 5. It would just look awesome. I mean, awesome, I don't even think is the right word to describe it. It would look insane. I'm very worried that there are no cars here. It would just look insane. Right, I've got to put this one back on now. They're going to get a bit hot, fella. You know, <clears throat> they could make the forests much thicker. Uh, the woodland area much, much thicker. They could, you know add more depth to it and kind of stuff because the things you can do in in UE5 is just it's, it's crazy it's it's utterly utterly mental uh no i want to cut into wires there we go so yeah <clears throat> it would be very good uh but like i said they are working on it they're seeing how they can implement it and make it work, because obviously... Do I do the police station quickly? Might as well, whilst we're here. Got a few screwdrivers and a few bobby pins, so we may as well. Dead body there. There we go. Just, let's just get to safety. <laughs> Uh, oh, hello. Um, yeah, it would be awesome. But again, that's probably going to take some time. And it would be good if it was on the full release. You know, maybe they'll do that. But again, UE5 is, is not a polished product yet, obviously. And like everything, with each update comes other problems that need to be checked and looked into and fixed. So it's still quite a long way away. I think within the next... This is just a rough estimate. I think within the next two years, all games will be on Unreal 5. That's my prediction. Oh, I've got advanced lock picking and I couldn't do that. God oh, damn it. That's just my prediction, but we will have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see. Right, let's see what is in these lovely containers. So that is an M9. That is a helmet. That is an M1911. That is a block magazine, which I'll take because I have a block. In fact, you know what? Uh, 74, 77, a flashlight. Let's take all of those and let's reload this. A couple of pistols, not that much really. But I do like the uh, the 1911 engraved, so. Though I don't think that one's the engraved one, is it? No, it's not. It is done. But I do like the 1911. Right. Put you there. Can we stack you? No, we can't. Okay, let's just put you there. Right. Oh, 
on wood. Nobody here. There you are. And there you are. Why do you sound like you're in the bushes? What the hell is that noise? I've never heard that noise before. Uh, okay. I think... I think... May not be sure about this, but I think... He's a bit broken. Again. Not 100% sure. But I think he might be broken. No. Ow. 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 That was painful. Why is this switched again? This shouldn't be switched. This always switches. It's really annoying. I don't want it on... I want it on single fire. Here you go. I always put it on single fire, but th then whenever I log out, it seems to switch automatically back to um, fully auto, which is slightly annoying, I have to say. How are we doing? Ah, uh, so I need some C1s. It's not too bad. But... I have woken the whole village. Oh. He stepped in front of my bullet. Right. Let's just check how much we've got here. Twelve left. That's okay. Where's the other one? My arrow's back. From this lady, if I can. Oh, I missed those. I missed those, I did. Let's just close that. Nobody there. Let's just check upstairs. I'm sure there'll be people here. Okay, she's on the roof. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, look, here we go. Look, this dude. Look at this dude. Oh, I potatoed. I missed. What we got up here? Ooh. That's a good find. I've never found those up here before, I have to say. Right. We've done those garages. We've done that garage. Huh. Do my eyes deceive me? I don't think they do. It's missing a wheel. Question is, does it have an engine? That's what we need. We need a engine. There's no one else here. But we got a door. Oh, a VSS flashlight. I'll take that. We got a door and a boot. So if I find a engine. Not a engine, a wheel. If I find a wheel, we'll be laughing. Why does it sound like they're in my building? Right, let's do two more of these. One. Two. And we've got another two downstairs. And then we'll go and check that. Like that. Come on. Oh, another going back to the vehicles I almost forgot is the boats. The modular boats. Although, maybe it's just me being lazy, but I never really... It's nine again. I never really used the boats. That's a shotty. I do have a shotty, so I won't take the shotty. I might as well use this now that everything is already open at It's 
stop moving. Whilst everything has already heard me and knows that I'm here, there's no point using the bow anymore, is there? Although, no, it won't do that. Although, uh, it will save my ammo. Because we are supposed to be stockpiling the ammo for the um, abandoned bunker. That's the plan, anyway. But as of yet, I don't know. Oh, look, it's a little peacekeeper. It's a little pea shooter. Uh, oh, okay. All right, come here, you. Annoying me. What? Oh, come on. There we go. Now I got him. Wasted a bit more ammo than I would have liked, but I got him in the end. Right. Let's go and check out this thing. I want to see it. There she is. Please have an engine. It has an engine. Oh, it's missing a front seat. Ooh. Hello, Bob. So it's missing two front seats and three wheels. That's rather a lot of stuff that it's missing. Hello, Chubbs. Bye, right, Chubbs. Uh, so I need wheels and seats. Ooh. There's one up here. That really sounds like there's one up there. No. 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 Oh dear, oh dear. I'm a wee bit rusty. Yeah. Any more? Any more for any more? That one hasn't been triggered yet. Do that again. Go on. I dare you. No, don't go quiet. Ooh, look, that made you jump. Oh. Saw her there just at the last minute. Come on, dude. Look, you can make it. It's not that difficult. Just go round. There you go. There we go. Right, how are we looking? We are looking perfecto. That means it is time for a reloado. There we go, go. Ah. Stop it. Right. Oh, you're in there. Uh, so we need wheels. Because you can drive it without the seat. So if we could get some wheels. There's one more garage over there. Crap, where am I going to get wheels from? I have to find some wheels. Uh, may have to make a trip down. Don't want to break my legs. Don't want to break my legs. Don't want to break my legs. I must remember that there is a Leica here. Wada, whatever you want to call it. Because knowing me, I will forget that it is here. Anybody home in the shop? Nobody home in the shop. What have we got? We've got some garlic. I'll take some garlic. So the other big news that uh, Mr. Tomislav has uh, been kind enough to deliver to us via the media of... Uh, medium, rather. Not media. Bye-bye, uh, bedroll is the new Hello Cocoa Powder. Another garage there. Now, I want to say Mini Boss, 
It's the new Tech 1 armor, which is supposedly going to be on NPCs. Uh, the only thing is, is I hope we can kill these ones and take their armor and use it for ourselves. There's been very little information other than the fact that it is, um, you know, Tech 1 armor for the NPCs. It's a sort of exosuit. Again, you can see now. But I hope... I do hope that we will actually be able to kill these ones and take the suits. Well, baseball bat. That would be fun. And also, it would help a little bit with the uh, abandoned bunkers as well. Because uh, uh, they're rough. They can be rough, abandoned bunkers. As of yet, I haven't done one. But like I said, they can be rough. But also, with the band and bunk abandoned, not abandoned, there's another gas canister. Why are you never there when I needed you last time? And of course, now I need a car. I don't have a full working vehicle. And I haven't got enough pain points to buy anything to be able to uh, get some wheels. But the quarry might have wheels, and the quarry is not too far away. So, we could, could make our way down there for the next uh, watering can episode and get ourselves maybe a wheel there. Because there was, last time, I think there was a Volkswagen there, if I remember. So, in the B3 town, we've got a Volkswagen with no engine, so that's useless to us. Uh, but it does have one wheel, and we've got a Leica with an engine and one wheel. So we need three wheels. There's a door and a boot. I mean, uh, hang on. Can you actually drive it? Let's go and check this out. I've never actually tested this. I'm sure you probably can. But we may as well go and have a look. And I can also dump some of this stuff in there as well. Because we're probably going to end up taking it at some point. I'm just trying to think where I've seen another Leica, and I can't remember now. I cannot remember. And it may not even have any fuel in it either. It's got a little bit of fuel and a little bit of battery. Um, let's just dump all of this in here. Not the 9 mil, not my gloves. But if we just dump all of this in here and sort of claim it as our own. Right. Uh, what else we got? That can go in. 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 Oh, no. Armor piece. Flashlight can go in. That can go in because we're rather warm. Uh, they garlic need reloading. That needs reloading. In fact, we've actually got quite a lot of nine mil, so I may as well put those in there. Get rid of those two because they're taking up space. There we go. Right. Question is, no, can't. That's a bit annoying. Can I charge it? No. I don't want to remove the alternator. It's got a tiny weeny bit of battery and a tiny weeny bit of fuel. But I actually thought you could drive it without a seat. But I guess they have patched that. Yes, we can no longer drive without a seat. Or maybe it's the wheels that it's causing it. Three wheels. Where am I going to get three wheels from? That's a real bugger, that is. Right. Let's remember that that's there. Let's go and see what's... Ooh, hello. Let's go and see what's over here. Oh, oh. No, you don't. Give me a loan. Goodbye. No, you don't. 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 
Somebody at home? No. But crogs were. More crogs. Oh, really? Are going to be so loud in my ear. We'll have to put you out of your misery. Hmm, might be a wheel in there. I could check that. Where did they all go now? Oh, there's one. Yeah, and he's dead. Come on, I need some more. I know you're here. Where are you? It's not that hard, fellas. Just walk around the building. Around the building. And you will find me. Oh, Krogs. What is it with the damn Krogs? Oh. Audience has come to see what's going on. Come on, people. There we go. Hello, love. Goodbye, love. No wheel. There's normally a wheel, it's leaning here. But there is no wheel today. Bit of a shame, bit of a shame, bit of a shame. But they're not very intelligent, are they, these puppets? They're really not. Look, I'm right here, Dumbos. You can see me. Ooh. Reload. Whoop. Good night. Finally, some peace and quiet. God's sake. It's so noisy. Right, no wheel here. That was a shame. Like I said, normally there is a wheel here if they spawn in here. I have seen wheels here before. Uh, so they do spawn in here, but unfortunately no wheel here. Which is rather annoying. But... What is good is that at least we found one with an engine. So... What I think I'm going to do... Is stay here. Actually, let's... Take care of this numpty. Oh, they're upstairs. Okay. Oh, not the fridge. Didn't mean to do that. Ooh, metal bat. Very often I see a metal bat. I'll take that for a change. In the washing machine. Booney hat. Boring. Anything in the wardrobe? Uh, some nasty hipster pants. So what I'm going to do is probably stay here for the time being. They really are stupid. Like, really, really stupid. Can you search these little broken mattresses? Yes, you can. Money, money, money. I like money. Here, where did they all come from now? Are they all respawned? Aren't they? Probably, knowing my luck, yes. Stay dead. They killed you. You don't get up. You stay. What have we got? Stay here. Can I get you. Almost. They're underneath, I think. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to stay here and make my way down to the two quarries and see if we can get uh, some wheels there and then make my way back. But yeah, I think... No, 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 no. I pressed the wrong button. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do in the next episode is we're going to make our way down to the quarries. Hello. Hello. And see if we can get a vehicle wheels there. Where are they all? They must be underneath me. Blimey. 
It's hundreds of them. Anyway, let's just ignore them. They're just being loud and irritating. But yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. So, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Ring that little notif notification bell so you get notified when my videos go live. Again, I'm sorry for such a long break, but, you know, having a full-time job kind of limits my time to be able to make videos. But hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, all that good jazz, we'll be back to a regular sort of upload twice a week once a week hopefully from now on so thanks so much for watching and as always i'll catch you all on the next one